Landsat 7 is in trouble. Some 438 miles up, the handcrafted minivans minivans around the Earth every 16 days. And for over 18 years, the satellite has captured images of our ever-changing planet. But Landsat 7 is running out of fuel. If it were a ship bound for Earth, this would not be a problem. We refuel everything, airplanes, trains and cars. But in space, it's a different story. The satellites work hard hundreds or even thousands of miles from Earth, accelerating over thousands of miles per hour. This speed and distance leaves the terrestrial operators largely powerless if something goes wrong. That includes refueling, once the satellites run out of gas, they are considered dead. The only exceptions are Hubble and the International Space Station, both of which are in orbit low enough to get through shuttle and are worth sending people for service. But with the average price of satellites exceeding $1 billion, abandoning trades once they arrive empty is costly. It also contributes to the growing problem of space debris. These man-made objects once turn into potentially life-threatening hazards in space. We do not do it because we like to throw things. We do it because there is no other choice, Benjamin Reed, Deputy Project Director of the Project Services Division of Satellite Services of NASA a group determined to change the way in which researchers consider satellites. Located in a warehouse at the Goddard Space Center in Greenbelt, Maryland, the Satellite Services Provisioning Division is working toward revolutionary new technologies that would make it possible to repair, refuel and upgrade satellites while in orbit. So far, computing power and robotic technology have not been sophisticated enough to make this difficult effort possible.